Welcome back everybody. Today we are going to tackle one of the most important yet debated issues of van life. That is insulation. Now there's about a hundred different ways to do this and lots of varying opinions on how to do this, but this is how I'm doing it. One of the advantages of an ambulance is this thing is all framed in two by two aluminum beams. So two inch foam board, which I have right here beside me happens to be about the perfect solution so that's what we're doing we're going to do as much of the interior as we can with the foam board any little nooks and crannies we can't get to we will probably use rock wool in and just cram in to insulate this thing as much as we can here in the midwest our, we get winters well below freezing and temperatures up to 100 degrees so it's all over the place and you got to keep it Cool in the summer, warm in the winter. So, let me show you how I'm doing it, what I got planned, a little bit I've got done so far, and how we're going to make this work. Now, there's a bunch of ways you can cut foam board, and I have most of them. What I found that works best is the good old table saw. It's a bit messy. You end up looking like a pink snowman when it's all said and done, but you get straight cuts that are easy to make. Now, I'm also making a little extra mess because I am using a one-inch router bit to cut out a groove so I can run wiring and things like that where I need to. I also have a couple different hot knives available and stuff like that. One of the big reasons of using two inch foam board is I already had the stuff. It's um, a project I never got to finish back in the day of building a hovercraft. I actually have a hovercraft um, that I'm working on. It's a little single seater, 10 horsepower, runs 30, 40 mile an hour. If you guys are interested in that, let me know. I'll do a video on a hovercraft. But right now, let me show you my setup to cut this foam and how it's going. So as you can see here, we have my old faithful Ryobi table saw that also has a router attachment. Doesn't really matter where I slot out for um, the wiring. So make my cut here, slip that piece over here. As you can see, got about a half inch cutout bit there. I am using that to route for wires. All right, the next step here is to take the old miter saw, cut this into 17 inch pieces for the roof so I can slide them through, then I'll run them through the router. Doesn't have to be exact, but try and keep them close. Here you can see the process of what I've got done so far. On the roof of this thing, you have to slide it in between these extra braces here. Thought about cutting those out, but any extra reinforcement we can get helps. This thing is built like a tank. So, as you can see here, I'm having to cut 16 inch pieces to fit in this gap over here and slide them through to meet in the middle. I am leaving this back fan. I'm gonna throw a computer fan up there and use this as extra ventilation. You can see the notches routed out there to run wires for lighting and stuff like that. I'll probably have to take the hot knife later and cut out slots for those. Now when I first looked at this, I was like, okay, I'm gonna get lucky here. All these will be spaced the same. I can cut up a bunch of foam and just start stuffing it in there. So far, every single one of these spaces is a different measurement. So each one, a little bit of time. It's gonna be a slow process, but we are going to get her done. The wall's got a little more surface area. I've still got to figure out what I'm doing with the lights that are up there. Those some are come out, some are staying, being replaced with LEDs. So get the walls done, the floors, around the boxes, everything we can, and insulate this thing the best we can. So let's get started. Now it's just a matter of cramming them through there in between these braces here. I will have to cut a couple of uh, 45 degree angles for some of the braces, but once they're in, I usually figure that part out one at a time. This is going to be a long, tedious process because I have to custom cut pieces of this for every run of these 
across the whole ambulance. Now this is where a good YouTuber would put up a really cool hyperlapse sequence where I get a whole bunch of this work done. So just imagine a bunch of me moving really fast, sticking pieces of foam in the ceiling, and you're there. So that's where we're at today. I'm gonna continue plugging along at this, see how far I get. Do it a little bit till I'm exhausted and work a little bit the next day and just keep plugging along at it. So if you got any questions, leave them down below. If you'd like to see a more detailed video on my thoughts and the process of insulating this thing, let me know I can make that happen. Found this helpful, love to have you subscribed. Getting close to that 1,000 subscriber mark, but still got a long way to go on watch time to get monetized. We're at about 2,000 hours and you need 4,000. Even though I did just lower that stuff for some of the features, but all this out of pocket, so not making any money off YouTube, just love camping. So gonna keep working on this. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.